It's been a week now since talk of water meters hit the headlines again, but in many ways there's still a lot of confusion about just how much households can expect to pay for water in two years' time. These bills, combined with household charges, will force homeowners to pay big money for local services, something that's been happening north of the border for very many years now, as Michal Lahan reports. The water was flowing freely in Dundalk this week, but not for much longer. A new income stream will come from water within two to three years. It is contentious, but it is something that was set in train even before the Troika arrived here. Figures that have been floated about are way off the mark, and I've seen figures of €400. Euro. No, they're, they're way off the mark. Uh, what we hope to do is to uh, introduce it in a way where people will actually get the free allocation, be able to use enough water, and then pay above that amount. Back then, the Environment Minister promised more than €300 million euro would be spent fixing around 600 kilometres of pipes. Indeed, the problem is so bad that many local authorities are losing around half their supply through leaking pipes. But only a fraction of that money has been spent to date. And that 320 million euro commitment that then Minister Gormley made needs to continue to be made good on. Um, people won't wear it and pay for it if they're aware that 40% of what left the reservoir isn't actually getting to their houses. Um, so that, there needs to be credibility and legitimacy around our, our water services before charges can be introduced. The quality of the water you're trying to reach, standard, the quality uh, and the investment you're going to make in wastewater treatment, what's that going to cost? And out of that will come the cost of running the new water service. So it's only, in my opinion, uh, and having been chairman of, of the Northern Ireland Water Board for eight months, it's only after you've done that you can actually work out the mathematics of the actual ongoing cost. But Sinn Féin does not like the idea of water charges or property taxes full stop. It seems to be the case that when money is needed to bail out banks, this government will find it. When money is needed to pay off bankers, this government will find it. This government will pay more than €100,000 for their new government advisors. And yet, when it comes to the basics of public services, then the government goes and looks at the ordinary working and the unemployed people in this state trying to charge them more and more taxes. It's only a short drive away, but here in Newry the story is very different and householders have always paid an annual bill for the services that are available to them. More than half the yearly bill is set by the Northern Executive and the remainder by the local council. The central rate pays for education, health and roads, while local rates account for water collection, leisure facilities and community centres. But whatever way you look at it, it is a big bill, with the average house in Newry estimated to be paying around 1,000 sterling, or about 1,200 euro a year. It's been in place here for many, many years, and it contributes, not it doesn't provide in total, but it contributes towards a full range of services that households enjoy, including free emptying of their bins, you know, once a year emptying of a septic tank, uh, education services, uh, health services, a full range. I think they, to try and compare that like with like in Dublin where it's just a flat rate, uh, 100 euro per house for no additional service is not really the same. Despite attempts by Westminster to introduce water charges here, they were resisted by all parties in the executive. They feel the rates based on the saleable value of your home are sufficient. The more valuable your house is, uh, the, the higher the, the level of rates you pay on it. And that's got nothing whatsoever to do uh, with uh, uh, how close you are to services. Uh, because in the end of the day, the rates are really a tax, especially the regional, regional element of it. Although the executive rejected water charges, five years ago Northern Ireland did establish a government-owned but independently run company to manage the water supply. It is exactly what will happen here when Irish Water is established, except this company will go further and charge for water. In this structure of regulation in the north is unbelievable. You've got a utility regulator that does gas, water and electricity, determines the price, the targets on, on efficiency, the staffing levels, 
the, the, the consumer uh, response, etc. It's a, it's a massive degree of regulation to deliver, and that essentially is the guarantee for the public that, that it won't be a, a, a monopoly that, that runs riot. At its simplest, though, the idea of charging for something that was free up to now will be a difficult task, judging by the exchanges in the Dáil this week. Taoiseach, I would suggest that your government is already out of touch. Question, please. You don't have a clear and detailed plan on how water metering is going to work. This has been a shambolic and farcical um, uh, situation. There are no detailed costings, no detail on exemptions, no details on how the government expects to put water meters Question, into every household by 2014, which will actually mean 4,000 per day. Don't say in this house that I said that people would have their water cut off. Yeah. There will be no bills of any description in respect of water until on, for, for two years. If people are sh tight for money, and if turning off the tap or using a bit less water um, is going to save them money, I would imagine they will save money. Getting people who have seen their incomes drop by more than 10% in recent years to readily buy into that concept will be difficult for a government already becoming unpopular.